So here, Mecca is going to tell you how to make a sad. Okay, first of all, I do a simple Punjabi tadka with onion, garlic and ginger, some chilli and some tomatoes. For the sag, I just get a bag of baby spinach, blanch it a little, and never overcook spinach because then it tastes yuck. Um, so I give it a quick dip in some hot water and then cool it and then I blend it. It's very easy to buy from, from the Woolies, Gold and... Yep, Woolies, and, and Coles. Budget, very, very hard to do in a, in a Punjab, you know. Really? It's a very hard when we are doing over there. Yeah, washing leaf by leaf and... Yeah, these ones are already pre-washed, ready to eat. When I'm doing sag, I don't usually wash it again, but if I'm having it salad-wise, I re-wash. But because I'm putting it into boiling water, it kills all the germs. Okay, so ready to cook now? Ready to cook. Oh, I forgot my herbs and spices. This is my little tray, my little Punjabi tray with my jeera and my coriander seeds, oh my turmeric, my hing, chili powder if I need it, and always pink salt. It's good for health. Oh yeah. My mortar and pistol. I give it a good healthy pinch or two of each of the jeera, cumin seed and coriander seed. Healthy pinch. I give it a little smash around because it just helps release the flavours a little better. And you're not crunching on a whole coriander seed when you're eating <laughs> My biggest hate. Take my hing. You come over here. I have a little oil. Oh, especially we are using the cast iron. Yes, always cook in cast iron. It releases iron into the food and makes your health better. I have my water boiling. It's heating up. So. Literally takes only a few seconds. A little bit at a time. Mm -hmm. That's it? That's it. Uh, never overdo because it tastes very, to me it tastes very bitter when you overcook. And it's going to cook more once you put it back into the tadka. Dip and then pull it out. And then I put it cold water in. Yep. And then cold water. That's it. So how much time is going to be sitting like this? Until I'm ready for it. Okay. That's to stop it from cooking. It also keeps the green colour when you only just cook it. Keeps it nice and bright. I have to reload this. Waiting for the oil to heat up. Because you don't want to do it cold. No. Because your herbs don't taste nice. I love saag. You do. I love you saag and kada and kada, especially in a cast iron. Yes, I have my special little cast iron for the kada. Okay, I've got the herbs and the hing in. Do the onion. What's next? Next, I gotta wait a little bit. <laughs> You gotta always let your onion cook a little bit extra. Exactly. Onion okay. needs more time. And if you don't give your onion some time, it doesn't taste very good. Oh. Remember those first few meals I made? Yeah. They weren't very nice. In goes the garlic and the ginger. They have a play in the bath. all of that timing. I wish videos had smell vision because this is my favourite part. So everybody gonna come to the door. Yeah. I've just added the chilli, a little oh, bit of healthy turmeric. When I first found out that it's called healthy, I thought, I thought he was saying healthy. A Hel good pinch, a good pinch of salt. <laughs> Give it a little you know, for the pot. In Punjabi, it's a haldi. In English, that's a haldi. 
It's healthy. And now the color is coming. Now it's starting to get some color. And I smell. Now it's starting to smell. Papa. Yeah. I'm thinking the mic also captures the sound as well, Kaka. Yeah, I love that sound. Shh. Everything cooks better in this. In Sarbno? Yeah. Mm. Okay. We have a Sarbno Tawa and, and we can show... Uh, we've got a big one. we got a big one, yeah. Because <laughs> I don't know how to make small rotis. <laughs> <laughs> The last. the last bit is the tomato and this needs some lots of time. Oh. It has to cook right, oh now it needs to cook right down. So I let it cook a lot now. What's next? I need to blend the spinach. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I also blend the tadka too, so it's nice and smooth like gravy. Warning to all headphone users. Now you're putting the tadka in them. I put the tadka into the blender. It is hot. Some blenders you can't put hot food in and blend it because it will explode. Uh, this one has little vents, so the steam can escape. And I'm going to give it a blitz. Look what mom is doing. <laughs> See, it's steam. I add back a little bit of oil just to stop it from sticking. Okay, Tadka back. I just added a little bit of water to get the rest of the well, rest of the crumbled bits, line. Yeah. Oh, okay. And a little extra water will not yeah. hurt. Mm. Makes it a little bit more runnier. Okay, it's very easy. This is one of the easiest ones to make. Here this is the spinny. Sorry. See how beautiful and green it still is? If I had it cooked it longer, it would be black. Oh, okay. Because it loses its colour. Put the gas on sim, otherwise it spits all at you. Yeah. So it's easy actually. Yeah, make tadka. Make tadka. A tomato based Spinach tadka. just from the boiled water. Yes. And uh, uh, it's called a, uh, a blanching. Blanch the spinach. Mm -hmm. Grind the tadka and the spinach separately and then add it back together at the end. And if you want yeah. a little bit more creamy, add a little milk. Yes. I always add a little bit of milk to get it to be milk or cream whatever you have on hand at this point you can add paneer this is the base gravy mix i add a little milk yes Sultan? fry right. the paneer and then put it in make it a little crispy little and we call palak paneer that thing yeah so this is just a this is just the palak side of palak paneer sog. This is sog. A sog. Yeah. so here we guys that's it now i let this cook for about another 15 minutes in the meantime i mix up a Okay. 